Howdy folks, just a quick video. My neighbor was throwing out this 32 inch uh, Samsung TV and I've been looking for a 32 inch TV to replace the one in my bedroom because it has overscan that you can't turn off which makes using it with a computer really annoying. Now this TV uh, didn't work and I plugged it in and the power light would come on, the LED, but pressing the button would do nothing, it was completely dead, so I thought it was a power supply which of course is generally quite repairable. Now this is the power supply for it here and uh, initially I looked at things like the output capacitors, the things you normally would look for, and they all look fine. And so as I was inspecting this further, of course I was doing a little bit of probing, I wasn't getting any of the voltages that I was expecting, uh, I noticed that there were some uh, of that yellow glue that I talked about in my CyberPower UPS video, and uh, this is after I've already scraped a bunch of it away, but I was seeing around some, like around this uh, this uh, PTC here, it was starting to get corrosive, and I noticed it over here. I also was starting to uh, turn color and discolor and get blackened uh, around this area. And I went through it bit by bit, and I didn't really see anything that was horrendous until I came to the other side of this big bulk uh, capacitor here. And there's this uh, resistor here, it's just a 0.22 ohm power resistor, and uh, there's a little, uh, looks like a class, class X suppression capacitor uh, across, uh, or not, it actually might be, might be class X, it's, it's just a noise suppression capacitor, and this whole area was gunked in that glue, and as you can see from the glue that's still on that capacitor, it turned completely dark brown, and the resistor that was there, this is a replacement resistor, the original resistor is this one, and you can see that it's uh, had the, the ass blown out of it. This is supposed to be 0.22 ohms, and it was measuring about 500k, so the thing went completely open. And so I found a replacement in another TV power supply board that I'd saved, uh, nonetheless, and I simply took the uh, chipped away as enough of the glue, put that in there, and now it powers up, and the whole TV works perfectly. So... Uh, of course, I'm going to take this board out again, and I'm going to clean the glue off a little bit better. I just wanted to get it to the state to see if it was worth saving, and it, it is. This one, this has the feature that I need and everything, so it's going to work great for me. But uh, this is just another instance of the yellow glue of death, uh, essentially taking out a you know, 10 cent component, which takes out uh, an entire TV like this. Now, of course, this TV is from 2007, so for most people, you know, it's only 720p. There, they probably upgraded, but. It goes to show it's in a bunch of other stuff, and of course it can cause all sorts of weird failures like that. So if you have a failure uh, and you, you can't see any obvious failure uh, of any components, um, and you do you see that glue in one place, start looking at all the nooks and crannies, because I didn't actually see this at first. I had only seen these other ones, and that was the last piece of glue that I found, and it happened to be the one that had actually caused the failure. So in this case, it didn't blow up anything else, which is great. But anyway, I just thought I'd uh, showcase that. So... Uh, as always, thanks for watching.